wall was completely erected in 1982. Joshua DeVore's dad was shot and wounded in Vietnam in 1971. DeVore brought his kids to the memorial wall so they can understand the history and sacrifice their grandfather and so many more have made. Uh, he was actually shot on Christmas Day, uh, 1971, in uh, South Vietnam. Uh, he said it was the best Christmas present he ever had because he got to call him home. DeVore said his dad was denied full disability for decades, but eventually he was given the benefits he earned. He says he's pleased that Congress has passed the burn pit legislation that will provide new health care benefits to millions of veterans. That's the one th great thing about America. We can, you know, learn from our problems and really fix, fix what we've screwed up in the past. After initially being held up by Republicans, the legislation passed the Senate with bipartisan support. Among many other provisions, it'll ensure veterans who were exposed to burning toxic waste pits won't be denied coverage. Veterans organizations say it can be very challenging for a veteran to prove that their illness, like cancer, is directly linked to their deployment. This removes those barriers. Tom Porter is with Iraq and Afghanistan Veterans of America. Porter says if a veteran has one of 23 illnesses, including certain cancers, they're covered. If you have one of those illnesses on the list in the legislation and it was diagnosed after the deployment, it's linked to your deployment. So you don't have to prove to the VA that your illness was linked. They presume it is. Jeff Schrader is an Army veteran who may benefit from the legislation. He was exposed to burn pits in Iraq and was denied a claim to address his breathing problems. People have, like Kevin said, have suffered far too long for reasons that are unexplained. And um, we as a country need to be responsible and, and, and help those people who are in need. The issue was championed by comedian John Stewart. I wish more celebrities would really be very proactive like John Stewart just did and really step out and say, you know, even if this costs me fans, it's worth it. In Northwest Washington, Darcy Spencer, News 4. Vietnam era veterans will also benefit from the legislation. High blood pressure and its link to Agent Orange will also be considered an illness.